Hi, I'm Carly Rathburn, and here today I'm going to talk to you about the Himalayan blackberry. So the Himalayan blackberry has these five leaves connected onto the stem. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five connected onto a stem also called the cane of a blackberry, and they have these thorns. Later in the season, you will see these buds turn into light pink or white flowers, and then they will grow into fruiting bodies, which we all know and love to be um, blackberry fruits. The Himalayan blackberry can grow up to 15 feet tall, and its trailing canes can grow to 40 feet long. So some of the identifying characteristics of the native blackberry with the Himalayan blackberry is that um, earlier in the season, so this is about mid-spring right now, and you will actually see um, flowering from the native species, and the thorns are much smaller, and the leaflets um, only carry in three. As you can tell, like the flowers on the native blackberry are a lot skinnier, they're still in sets of five, similar to the Himalayan blackberry. The leaf itself only has three individual leaflets. And the thorns on the actual stem are much smaller. Where did the Himalayan blackberry come from? The Himalayan blackberry originally came from Western Europe in 1835. The Himalayan blackberry was originally introduced as a uh, food product for agriculture and aesthetic purposes. So how many areas has the Himalayan blackberry invaded? The Himalayan blackberry has invaded the entire western North America, um, all the way down from California to the western British Columbia, Canada. It was able to adapt to the Pacific Northwest um, exceptionally well and was able to produce larger, sweeter fruits than its native habitat. I know we've been talking about invasive species, but I think we should first define what an introduced species is to really understand what an invasive species is. Um, an introduced species is a non-native species arrived by human assistance. And so an invasive species is an introduced species that has self-replacing populations over several life cycles. The Himalayan blackberry is that. Is, it is an invasive species. The Himalayan blackberry is considered one of the 10 worst invasive species in the Pacific Northwest. Why this species is such a hot topic right now is the, um, the impacts that, this, uh, that the Himalayan blackberry has on the environment. The species outcompetes native vegetation, especially near lakes, rivers, and creeks. This species can affect biodiversity loss and ecological services, which can be vital to agricultural production and economic resources. So what can you do in your community? Some of these things can be right in your backyard, and you can help manage the situation. Some of these things can require a little bit of hands-on work and a lot of time. The Himalayan blackberry is very hard to eradicate, which is why it is now considered a naturalized species. The Himalayan blackberry can be managed in many different ways, and some of the ways that are a little bit more environmentally friendly um, require a lot of time and a lot of hard labor. Some of the ways that we can manage them is by physically cutting them, pulling them, and spraying a glyphosate herbicide on the remains of the Himalayan blackberry. <laughs> An example of dead canes that need to be cut is justified to my left. In order to, to make sure that you can remove um, Himalayan blackberries effectively is to cut down these canes early in, the early in spring and then once you've cut down the canes early in spring, allow them to grow up to like about 15 inches. So this is an appropriate size for late summer. Once they reach this size, you can spray them with a glyphosate herbicide. And um, around, you can spray them with a glyphosate herbicide around November 
which is the appropriate time when all of their nutrients is starting to go back down into their roots. So they take the herbicide with them and it actually kills the root system. Glyphosate is appropriate to use around water areas because it is approved by the Watershed Council. Please assist your nearby community health services to help manage invasive blackberries.